Carbon Lighthouse started to stop climate change. That is big and ambitious. We work in buildings because buildings contribute a huge amount of CO2 emissions, close to 40% of US CO2 emissions. If we were gonna matter to climate change, we really had to matter at a scale that mattered. And machine learning has been very part and parcel to our ability to do that. Maybe we can set the scene a little bit. The built environment is just kind of the Wild West. <laughs> Most buildings that are standing today were built before the Cold War and run sort of in autopilot. And this results in just a lot of inefficiencies. It's figuring out what happens during a winter morning at 6 a.m. versus summer peak at 4 p.m. The ventilation systems, the air conditioning systems, the heating systems. How do you get them to work with each other to deliver that same comfort with a lot less energy? It's a highly dynamic problem space. And that's where we really got into the data side of it. The primary way we get that data is you have to create our own sensor network. The sensors are about the size of a deck of cards. We can measure things like lighting levels, temperature, airflow, and now data is flowing from the building. That is where ML began to really help us using our AI-based software platform that we call Clues. And that is going to let us train these detailed thermodynamic models. We can experiment and change the parameters in code to understand how the building could operate differently and more efficiently. The big aha moment was we can capitalize on the data that we've collected to date. So that we can really understand the opportunities for any building before we even step foot into it. And that's what we've decided to build on top of AWS. The value that I see choosing AWS is it's giving us these rock solid big data primitives that allows us to build accurate enough models that we can feel confident we can put our guarantee behind them. Expanding our models, expanding our data reach, we have reduced the equivalent of emissions of 11 power plants. You can do it with data and ML, and of course that's the route we've chosen because it's what allows us to do it not just once, but do it hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times.